talked about hot dogs, I guess, right after you get a bunch of hot dogs. You know, after it settles down, I guess you can hit up the gym. That's what I'm going to be talking about. Why small gyms are very better than big gyms. So, Professor, you know, I want to take some notes on this. I will. <laughs> Alright, so, um, the big thing about getting a gym membership, well, the prices. The prices are ridiculous. It's too expensive for the big ones. Um, for example, um, a big gym costs about $55 just for one person a month. And that doesn't even include the initi initiation and maintenance fee. So it's going to be around $400, $700 in that range. But if you go to a small gym, um, like I, I get a Fitness 19, and well, they charge me $12 a month, and then $100 um, every April for the maintenance fee. <coughs> So it ends up being around $244 a year. So that's pretty cheap. And it also includes any other people you want to add on there. Um, so as you can tell, there's a big difference in prices. And from the looks of it, I guess you might as well just go with a small gym. Um, another difference is the gym size. Well, so you can see from this picture over here, kind of small. But um, there's a lot of machines and equipment. That, these are in the big gyms. Um, but the problem I see um, is that when there was a lot of equipment, there was a lot of people, and that limits the use of machines as well. Um, one time I went to um, the YMCA at 5 in the morning, and well, that place was full. It was just packed with a bunch of people, and I didn't even go to work out because there was just too many people. Um, and the small gym, often, I also got at 5 in the morning. And there's like one or two, three people there. So it gives you it gives you more of an opportunity to work out and you know work off those hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you. you got, huh? I'll push up, Joe. Push ups and pull ups. Okay. House though. Alright. Or you can also do that. <laughs> um and then the gym conditions. In big gyms, um there's a lot of customers in there every day, so uh, machines are really used down, they're worn out, and sometimes there's like stains on them, like sweat stains, like you can see it's all glossy on the back, it's disgusting. Um, smaller gyms, well there's always like a person cleaning them up, with spray and the bottle or whatever, and they're more well kept. Um, so yeah, um, personal training. Um, at big gyms, I don't really see the personal trainers around there. Just the YMCA I go to, I guess. Um, but then at the small gyms, it's always like three or four uh, personal trainers walking around, seeing people need help, you know, offering their assistance, uh, giving them advice, and they're always there if you have any questions. Um, but yeah, if you ever wanna go to a gym, pick a small one. Um, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, more World Cup, personal trainers, they're pretty cool, pretty chill, they'll know you because not that many people go there. There are, but, you know, that's big.